everybody. Today I'm going to make sounds and tell you about some of the uh, products I finished again. Um, the bag is still growing instead of shrinking. So I decided um, today I'm going to make it a bit longer than the previous ones. Um, so I can hopefully <laughs> get more out of this bag than, uh, than it gets in before the next time I film this because I don't want to make this my only thing so then there's like one or two months between well yeah about two months between these videos um, but uh, yeah it's it's since I've started this series I'm keeping more stuff so now I almost have too much to ever use in videos. <laughs> My nails uh, look pretty cool at the moment, I think. Um, it was actually done pretty easy. I'm not very good at... Uh, I'm not very patient and uh, neat, especially when you do your dominant hand because then, oh well, it doesn't work. But this one was fairly easy and I saw it on Instagram. And it's just a layer of blank nail polish, your base or top coat, and then you, while that's still wet, you dip black and then white in it, and then it comes looking out like this. And well, the Instagram was prettier, but I I think it still looks pretty cool. But let's get started with the products. So I have this one. And I just finished it this morning. I've, I think I've told it before in videos that I have so many body butters and creams and stuff that I put uh, only the ones that are almost finished and in more easy reach. And I put the other, the full ones, away so I can finish up a few so my collection shrinks a little bit because it didn't even really fit uh, the place where I keep it anymore so and I've had two of these, I also have another version I can see that it's like down, very down in my bag on the bottom so probably will be a few videos before I get to that one um, but I like these both very much I mean they're uh, they're not very so this is really a lotion, it's not a body wetter, it's really a lotion, it was pretty pretty thin. Um, but it still did a pretty good job. So this was for dry skin. And the other one I have was for very dry skin and it did work better for my for my skin because I do really have very dry skin. So this was just mm, in summers when you don't really need a lot of nutrition. Can you say nutrition? I don't really know what you call it in English, really. And the bottle doesn't help me because it's only Dutch and French. Okay. But when my skin needs a little more, because it, if I haven't uh, given it attention for a few days, or when it's winter, when well, you, there's like a lot of cold and also heating and stuff then this one's not really, uh, doesn't really do it anymore for me, but overall I like this very much and also thought it smelled pretty nice. I'm always afraid to open lids because sometimes they pop really loud.
does smell nice. It's supposed, well, it's supposed to be mango oil in it. I don't know. Let's see if I can find it. It's pretty down. It's about two-thirds of the ingredients, so then there's not much of that in it. <laughs> so this was really a, a lotion um, with a basis in mineral oil. And that's something which I read does not do a lot for your skin. So I was actually pretty surprised when it turned out to be pretty nice, pretty nice lotion. when I bought it was new and I bought it in a um well it wasn't a sale but you know it was this discount thing um two for one so I bought this one and another I mean like it's really big it's 400 milliliters I bought this one and another one and I think it was like four or five euros it was really cheap for so much and I, I really enjoy them too. But I think I I think I'd buy the other one again because I already had them in such a really really crazy big collection right now. First I have to finish some other stuff. So let's continue to the next. This is another body butter that I finished and it was this week. So I finished two things this week, so that's very nice. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this one because one or two videos ago I also finished the scrub with the same rituals uh, line and it smells wonderful but I already had in the video a very I think it's actually like the same package oh, so I'd love to buy this again expensive and I have so many other I think if I would if I would really put lotion and body water on every single day which I don't do then I would at least have a year I think I would have more than a year supply ready waiting for me right now I have no idea how long you do with one of these things because I never just use one and finish that. And I have different ones that I and yeah, I don't know. story about the scrub packaging. It fell off my bed after filming and I rolled under the bed and it's still there because it's really like in the middle under the bed and 
it's so gross over there. <laughs> and I haven't, well, I haven't put in the energy to get it out from under there because it's not really bothering me up there. So. something else. This is also something that I finished today. Lots of stuff this week. Although, well, I use much more of this stuff than of body lotions, so these always go away faster, even though it's half a liter, this one. This is just a nice shower cream. I never use shower gels because they're too drying on my skin. And I also use this uh, for shaving. I don't really see the, the necessity of buying a separate shaving cream when, when I'm in the shower already like clean myself with this stuff. I really feel that it's hollow. <laughs> and because I just took it out of the shower, I see that it didn't dry it very well. It's still a little bit wet. These caps are always so loud. Smelled nice, but nothing, nothing special. But I have a feeling that I'm kind of picky with perfume scents anyway. I mean, some people have like a favorite perfume and they're totally in love with it, and then they come across another one, and then suddenly they have a few favorite, and I think, well, most of the perfumes are nice. Very great sounding, I think. So I'm moving on already. So what shall I grab? Okay, I guess I'll take this one. There's also something inside. So that one is synced to the bottom of the bag. So I'll grab this in a minute. So these are two mascaras. I finished this one quite a long time ago and I got it from my mom who got it from some discount thing at a store, Yves and my mom doesn't use mascara. So I got it and it was a pretty basic thing and didn't really do a lot better than nothing, I guess. It was just very basic bristle thing. It looks like there's quite a lot in still actually. But I don't use mascara every single day and I think you have to throw it away after three months because bacteria start going in there and they can cause eye infections. So I never I really ever finish one. And this was one that I recently stopped using because I, for the first time in my life, actually had an eye infection and it was freaking horrible. So I stopped using this one because I have, I have been using this one for quite a while. And I don't think that this is actually what caused the eye infection because I hadn't used it for a few days when I got it. But 
I stopped using it anyway and I didn't really like it as well because the brush was so freakishly big I mean look at this it's and yet there's you can see there's lots of mascara still in here but it, I spilled so many times on my eyelids and and there was just I applied way too much mascara in one stroke and then it's barely uh, fixable after that so I didn't really like it so I'm actually kind of happy to move on from this one it does sound nice though Especially lately, I don't really have much time for makeup in the morning. I only put on mascara, that's it. Sometimes I'm going through phases in which I also do some pretty eyeshadow, but at the moment it's just, just mascara, just to open up my eyes a little bit. Mascara makes so much different for how awake you look, really. Like I almost kind of feel naked when I when I don't wear it. So those are two those are mascaras. Putting those away now. And then this is a box of um, day cream for my face that I'm using at the moment. Everybody in the Netherlands, maybe also Belgium, I don't actually know, knows this Kruidvat. It's um, call it a drugstore. I don't know. And um, let's just say that I never buy something there for the actual price. I always wait for the discount. They often often have uh, two for the price of one, or like to buy two and get one free, things like that. So things like these I buy there only when it's like 2 plus 2 wow, sorry, that was my elbow my elbow's been a bit annoying today and I like that this one has SPF in it but I recently uh, read an article that from, from a Dutch beauty blog, uh, Beauty Love, and uh, she has an uh, she has sort of a degree. I mean, there's like this distinction between university and um, HBO. And there's not really a very good translation for it in English, but she has some. She has a background in um, chemistry, so she looks at things scientifically in a sense as well, and I really like it. And she um, she explained what how they calculate the SPF and the amount of product you would have to smear on your face to actually achieve this. Three is insane. So you will never achieve this. So she was discussing whether it even um, is of any use to put this in products like these. So I guess it's better than nothing. I'll just comfort myself with that. And if I actually go out sunning, then I'll put on uh, SPF separately anyway. Can 
open this. on again and um, I think I'll grab kind of product trio all by Dove and this is a shampoo and a conditioner and a leave-in conditioner I think you call it I don't know what hair therapy damage solutions a leave-on treatment yeah so um so this was especially for split ends um and I have a lot of split ends I have a lot of hair and all my hair is pretty uh, thing and I've been trying to grow my hair for a really long time just want to see how long my hair can grow but that means that you don't go to the hairdresser very often and get it cut so yeah the thing is I like a bit of volume in my hair but my ends need care and then you always end up with lots of um, silicones in the product like in this conditioner you have the third dimeticone and then uh, well I try to be a little bit knowing of the ingredients that are in my stuff but it's really hard to keep track like mineral oil can also be called paraffinum liquidum or something and I'm thinking, is it still the same stuff or is it just related in some way? I just don't understand. So, um, well, it made my hair very heavy, so it was really flat. Mm. My head it just drooped and it smelled very nice. Um, and the promise is that you can see less split ends. So after you've used the products for like two or three washes, then your split ends should stick together in some way and maybe that works for like the first day but on day two and three that effect is kind of gone so but I mean I didn't really believe the promise I just wanted to try it out like to try new things and I actually do I do like this stuff I have another bottle that I'm using but at the moment I'm just using yeah, I'm using a volume shampoo now in the hopes that my hair doesn't get too heavy but on the other hand I'm using a conditioner that's called care and repair so that's really really uh, heavy stuff again so probably not for much use I haven't really found the products that make my hair really happy and shiny and everything
this yeah i don't really have a lot of lids that i, I dare to open today these also popped really loud in the shower so i'm gonna keep them closed i'm not gonna do a lot but i could do maybe like the treatment thing so the shampoo shampoo and conditioner Wait, wait. as you can see. I'm always afraid that when you try to show that, that suddenly it will get everywhere. <laughs> shampoo and cream bottles don't really sound that awesome, I think. This one does sound very nice. I think that you can really hear that it's hollow inside. That's not too great. Maybe I should do one with all full bottles and that would sound nicer or something. But really like this one and it will probably be an episode in a few months again because like I said I still have one of these right now Usually after I film, I make like take screenshots of all the products I use, and I hold them in my hands. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to hold everything that I use today in my hands. This was it for today. I hope my babbling about this stuff relaxed you. I hope it wasn't. I don't think it was very interesting. Well, maybe that even helps. <laughs>